Hola, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray in eight different ways. Now, there's always been so much confusion about this Fix Plus Spray, like what does it actually do? How do you use it? And is it even a setting spray? So I'm going to be going through everything that you need to know about this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray and how you can use it in eight different ways. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss out on any videos that I post. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Mwah. <laughs> Right, so with this Fix Plus Spray, it's a really popular product and I always get asked so many questions about this spray. But the main question that I always get asked is, is this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray a setting spray? And the answer is, in my humble opinion, no, it's not a setting spray, it's a hydration spray. The only ingredients in this Fix Plus Spray is water, vitamins, minerals, chamomile, cucumber and green tea. There's no ingredients ingredients in this Fix Plus spray that's actually going to lock your makeup into place or make your makeup last longer or extend the wear of your makeup. This spray is designed to hydrate, refresh, soothe and calm your skin. So no, it's not a setting spray, it's a hydration spray. So with this Fix Plus spray, you can use it as a base and spritz it on before makeup. It creates this really beautiful, even surface ready for makeup application. And that gives you like an added layer of hydration before you apply your makeup. You can use the Fix Plus spray to erase makeup mistakes instantly. So if you've messed up on your winged eyeliner or if you've overlined on your lips, just any type of makeup mistakes that you've done, you can instantly erase it by getting a cotton bud and then spray the cotton bud with the Fix Plus spray and then just clean up or buff out any makeup mistakes that you've done without having to start all over again or making the whole situation worse. That's what you have to do. You can use the Fix Plus Spray to give your eyeshadows a little bit more of a pop and to intensify pigments. All you have to do is spritz your eyeshadow brush with Fix Plus Spray and dampen the brush and not drench it. And you can see the eyeshadows here clearly. I mean, look at the difference here with and without the Fix Plus Spray. It just makes your eyeshadow more bolder and brighter. use the Fix Plus to sheer out your foundation. So if you find that your foundation is slightly a bit too thick or a bit too heavy for everyday use, then you can always thin it out. So there's two ways you can actually do this. The first way is just get a beauty blender or a foundation brush. And yes, the beauty blender is slightly dirty because I've just used it, so my foundation's still on it. So all you have to do is spritz the Fix Plus spray onto the foundation brush or the makeup sponge this one, spritz it on and then blend out your foundation for a lighter finish. And the second way that you can do it is put foundation into a really tiny dish and then spritz the Fix Plus spray into that foundation and just stir it and mix it in together and apply it directly from the little dish. So yeah, two different ways that you could do it, but either way it gives you the same lighter finish. And you can use this method for concealer as well. If you wanna shear it out and make it thinner, just use the same technique. tone down your blush. I mean, we've all been there before. We were too heavy handed when applying blusher. That's where the Fix Plus Spray comes into play. All you have to do is spritz the Fix Plus Spray onto a makeup sponge or beauty blender, like that. Just spritz it on and then dab, dab, dab. Just dab away the blusher, any excess blusher. And that way, that'll take away any excess blusher without creating any smudges. If you find that you've applied too much powder on your face, not to worry, because we've got the Fix Plus spray. So all you have to do is spritz this Fix Plus evenly on your entire face to make your face look less powdery and to remove that cakey texture on your skin. And that'll give you a really nice dewy glow. And it also helps to blend your makeup into your skin for that really natural looking finish. And there's definitely no cake face here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 
with this Fix Plus spray, it's not just for your face. You can also use it on your body. If you like to wear highlighter on your body, then all you have to do is spritz this Fix Plus onto your collarbone, your arms, your body, your legs, before dusting on highlighter. This will intensify and smooth out the shimmer to give you this really Kylie Minogue-esque type of shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer. <laughs> apply foundation you might find that near your hairline area all your baby hairs might be caked with foundation and obviously that's not really a good look so all you have to do is get a makeup sponge or beauty blender spritz it with the fix plus and then just bounce it near your hairline just to blend out your foundation and to give you a really seamless finish around your hairline i mean there's just so many different ways that you can use this spray it's like very versatile it's like the ultimate multitasker right so those are my eight different ways that you can use this mac prep and prime fix plus spray so i hope you all found this video helpful and if there's any other ways that you can use this fix plus that i haven't mentioned in this video just comment down below I'd like to know. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Mwah. Bye guys.